this time, I was prepared. It did not catch me off guard. <laughs> Yo, guys, how's it going? You dropped uh, Animal Crossing New Horizon the two months, but New Leaf you played for three years straight. That's incredible. I don't even think I played New Leaf for that long. I Once I realized the only way to make money was to, like, grind fishing sharks. Oh, I got so bored of it. And then... Some of my islanders left that I actually liked. I was furious. I was so upset. But like New Leaf, I mean New Horizons, I find the opposite for me. I I played it for so long. I don't know if I would have if I wasn't streaming it. But I like I like the I like the upgrades. Especially the villagers can't just leave you, you know? That's that's a nice part. That's a very nice part. It's bad enough people in my life like to leave me. But villagers? No. <laughs> if they leave me too, <laughs> I, have, I have nothing. <laughs> it makes you feel worthless, you know? Like, they left my island, but I, ga I gave them gifts. They were, they were cute. Okay. <laughs> it's, a real, it's a real punch to your, uh, your ego, you know? Like, wow, not even these digital animals will stick around with me. Cool, cool. Good to know, good to know. Put 500 hours in New Horizon. I find it so boring for some reason. I do too now. No, I completely agree. How many hours did I put into it? Let me check. I put a lot of hours into it. Profile. It's been a while. 280. Wait. Jimmy, you put 500 into it? Dude, that's double mine. Oh my god, no wonder you're bored of it. <laughs> Yo, HG, HG, HG. <laughs> H, Geekster, H. Surprise! I freaking love that command. <laughs> S! <laughs> How are you doing, guys? How was your night last night? <laughs> okay, the reason I'm late is because, like, I stream over Wi-Fi, and so as I'm sure you've noticed, the quality in stream will dip and come back very frequently. So I'm trying to fix that by giving myself wired connections, but it didn't work. At least it didn't work following the instructions. I read some comments that you have to do it differently, so I'm going to try that after stream. But ugh. You should see me like frantically trying to get wires to work in time for stream, oh my god. I moved the grass. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> I don't blame you, man. I, I I would have probably done the same, except not grass. Instead of sand, I probably would have tried to put snow everywhere. 100 hours more than Drippy? I believe that. I believe that, Geekster. I truly believe that. When, the first time I visited your island, oh, it was gorgeous, man. Cars and parking lots and everything. I loved it. I haven't played in four weeks. I haven't played in months. It's been a long time since I played. The Mario update. That's the last time I played, and it wasn't even to play anything. I just logged on to get the items and then logged off. Didn't didn't enjoy it. I always see it on my home screen, but ignore it. I know, right? <laughs> when it first came out, I was so happy. But I knew what was going to happen. Like, I knew I was going to get bored of it eventually. And it lasted a long time. It was good for, it was good for us and our stream purposes, but... I'm going back to New Leaf. <laughs> oh my god. If I booted up that game, I guarantee you all of my all of my villagers would be gone. All of them. Not one would have stuck around. And that would make me really sad. I might as well just start a new game. Like there's no there's no point in sticking around, you know? Okay. Today I promise our stream won't be as long as yesterday's. We <laughs> we were just cr like, I was trying to blast through it to get to a, a checkpoint, you know, the to be continued. We didn't hit it. Surprisingly, we didn't we didn't hit it. I sold my DS but regret it. I don't know why I want to buy another one. Ah, I would I'm I'm I become very attached to my consoles. I could never sell it even if I don't touch it anymore. I don't know because memories, you know, memories, but. Oh, I haven't turned the light. Okay, one second. I gotta turn my lights on. A 
Okay, hopefully that makes a little bit of a difference. If he has DS since he wants to play, oh my god. <laughs> I'm saving for a PlayStation. Well, trying to, but now I want a 2DS XL. There's <laughs> more Ace Attorney there. Oh, yo, if there's more Ace Attorney, I feel like we can, we can torrent it. We can, we can find, what's it called? Not torrent, it's a, uh, an emulator. We can emulate it. Because uh, I'd, I'd be interested in the story alone, you know? Luigi Mansion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, Luigi's Mansion was really fun. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, I have my GameCube here. So if you ever wanted to play a, an old GameCube game, we absolutely can. Genie! Yo, how's it going? How was your night, Genie? Yeah, no worries, Jippy. I'm trying to adjust to my new work schedule next week, which will be working at 5.30 and getting home at 3 a.m. Ish. So I tried to stay up late last night. It, 11 was the latest. And then I tried to sleep in, but the sun was coming through the window. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't. I laid in bed for a while, but I couldn't, I couldn't sleep that later. I'm going to have to put two blankets over my window to try to keep the light out. I tried thousands of emulators. My laptop fries. Oh, no. I, I hope my laptop's powerful enough. And stream. I have faith. I think we can do it. You can't run Mario 3D World or New That's fair. <laughs> Those are some pretty heavy games. But I feel like a text-based game like Phoenix Wright would be totally fine, you know? I think. I think. It's still in my DS. <laughs> no worries, Drippy. All right, guys. Let's jump into it. Let's do some Ace Attorneying. I really want to blast through this this chapter. It's uh, it's not turning out to be my favorite either, Geekster. Um, we're going to the circus to find the puppet. Huh? Ben's not here anymore. Yeah, I wanted to ask him something. It's cold out. He's probably in the tent. But yeah, there's snow on the ground. Maya, shouldn't you be wearing a jacket? I know that's your whole personality is the, you know, summoning spirits and all, but surely you could put some layers on, right? i seen some Hawaii gamer TikTokers. Ink 3DS, and oh my god, they're getting very... Oh, really? Is it aesthetically pleasing? And I do on all consoles? Really? They must have a giant SD card on it. Um, I don't know where to go to get to up it. Oh, it was in here. Yes, yes, it was in here. It was in here. What do you think, Nick? I wonder if we've been making any progress. Don't be so negative. Of course we are making progress. Why I make kawaii? Oh, <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> but... Everyone loved the ringmaster. And there's no sign of footprints on the scene. There's still a lot of myst mysteries left to be solved. Doesn't know Gen Z. Of course! And now, Gigi isn't here. I'm not seeing how that's related. Um... We're supposed to find the puppet. It's grand, all right. I don't want to try entering court like that. Please don't. Please don't. How'd I know she'd say that? <laughs> he said the puppet was in here, right? The seats are so far away. Yeah, we read that one already. Uh, oh, maybe not. <laughs> I forgot about the puppet. Me too. There are so many voices to act in this one. Um. Okay, I guess the puppet's not here then. All right. All right. Here. Oh, we'll just look everywhere. It looks the same as always. A great big mess. Considering how messy it is. I bet they wouldn't notice if another poster went missing. 
Will you just stop it? You poster... Pilf... Pilferer? Pilfer... What is that word? I'm just kidding. You know, I already got one of those posters. You mean stole one of those posters? Yeah, uh, let's focus on what Max told us. No worries, Easter. He said that he hid Trilo somewhere in this room. Oh, it was this room. Trilo. Oh, the ventriloquist puppet. All right, we're in the right place now. So, I love how this game will constantly throw words at me and make me look illiterate. Like, I can't read. Like, I've never seen that word before in my life. Nick, look at all these cute trophies. Uh, we read that already. Mmm, there's something shoved under the bookshelf. This is... Uh, that's Trilo! That's Ben's puppet. I think you're right. We'll give it back to him later. A ventriloquist puppet. An operated tenor who doubles as Ben's sidekick. Oh boy. Why do I have to carry this thing? I'm not touching it. Man, this whole level, puppets, clowns, it's not, it's not, it's not a good time for anyone. Where's Ben? <laughs> He's just standing there. You like my side profile, pal? I'm working on being a model. I feel like he could be a, a good model. I don't want to go to Moe's room. We'll leave that for last if we can. Uh, go to the cafeteria. Oh, hey, Ben! Oh, there he is. Uh, um, <laughs> hello? Hello to you two. It's awfully cold today, don't you agree? Uh, 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 indeed. Don't you think it's cold, Nick? I don't see how talking about the weather is helping our case. All right, buddy. Here's your puppet. Oh, boy. Ah, Ben. This is yours, isn't it? Y y yes, th that's mine. Here you go. Oh, no. All right, Maya. Let's get going. It's that time, isn't it? See you around, Ben. Oh, oh, oh okay. That was it? We're not gonna talk to them? So Nick, where are we going next? Let's see, maybe we should go talk to the clown with- Hey, wait! Who said that? What are you looking at? I'm right here, you blind wench! Oh no. Oh no. Do we give it a toad voice? I feel like a toad voice is, is suiting for a puppet, don't you think? I don't know how else to voice him. I think I've ran out of all of her voices. <laughs> um... Yep. What's your problem anyways? Don't you know how to properly greet someone? Ben! Is that you, Ben? No, 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 no! I would never! It was me! Yeah, me, down here! You're... you're Trilo? That is Mr. Quist to you, sir! Learn some manners before you just blurt out my name! <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> now, try speaking to me again, but this time with some proper respect! Not again. Mr. Quest, is that better? No! Look at me when I am talking to you, you 8-bit excuse for an attorney! Whoa now. Whoa now. Trilo, we talked about insulting people. Ah, ah, you promise. Ah, ah. <laughs> but he was mocking me. Not being mean to bullies was not included in the deal. What? I hate that they look the same. Even the little curly hair at the front. I'm sorry, Trilo. Nick, what just happened? Trilo was still a puppet, right? Hey, what do you think you are calling me a puppet? Um. We don't. Tell us, uh, what you know about the murder. You talking to me? I said you talking to me? Don't look at him when you're talking to me. 
reload quest. Uh, you behave, young man. Shut up, Woody! <laughs> he is Woody! Oh, it's funny, because Woody from Toy Story is a toy, but now he's the human with the toy. <laughs> what murder are you talking about? You mean the one where they, they offered the old man? I guess so. No need to make such a fuss about things. That old mutt paid us all peanuts. Trilo, you can't say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. Don't you have a nerve pills or something to take right now? These two are really an odd couple, aren't they, Nick? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Gramps got clobbered over the head. Okay. Let me lay it all out for you. They pay sucks. The clown sucks. And my parent partner has his hands up my pants. Your partner? You mean Ben? Yeah! The creepy old guy who never finds it in himself to leave me alone! Tell him to back off for me, will ya? He's just another one of the dorks around here! <laughs> oh! My! But how about Jesus Christ is right, Genie? <laughs> I think that sums up this situation quite well. But I'll be fair! In this self, uh, cess cesspool of human garbage masquerading Masquerade! Hey, performers! I found my Madonna! Your... Madonna? Gigi! My lovely Gigi! She is stunning, right, Ben? Well, well, I'm not sure if I would go that far. You'll have to excuse him! He does not understand of what he speaks! I, on the other hand, am an appreciator of true beauty! That's why I shall marry her. Mama Mary. Oh. oh, boy. The ringmaster got knocked upside his cheap head by that flying fraud. You mean Mass Galactica? What do you? S uh, why do you say that? Treat low, straighten up. Don't excuse people like that. Straighten up! I made of wood. Besides, you were there. You know what happened. You were there. Hee <laughs> hee! If you're that interested, then I'll let you in on some facts. Uh, please. You... you're going to marry Gigi? That's right! She doesn't quite realize the joy that awaits her, does she? I think I'm beginning to see why she seemed... troubled. Well, she... I don't care! It is my choice, not hers! We're getting hit... Whoa, 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 whoa! Little puppet dude. Consent. Whoa. Yes, that puppet can throw hands. Sir, that's not okay. I don't like any of these people. I know you think that, but... But what? I gave her a special gift. I gave her the wonderful gift of song. You gave her a song? Well, I am a renowned tenor. You'll be happy to know that I've decided to grace you with one of my songs. Oh no. <gasps> me, 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 me. I want you to touch me. I want you to kiss me. I want you to. The rest is private. Okay. Moving on. Well, um. The melody is pretty good. But those lyrics, I, I think they need a little work. <laughs> Who asked you? I'm the artist here. Guys. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I hate it here. I don't want to know what the rest was going to be, man. <laughs> That's a lot of crying emotes, Genie. <laughs> oh my god. Is there not one good character that could have been introduced? And now that Trilo's here, does that mean you can talk normally now? Hey, Buttface! Duh! You must be looking forward to tomorrow, aren't you, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? Uh. You know, it's time to get rid of that pesky magician once and for all. 
Trilo. Enough jibba jabba! Let's get to the court already! Uh, hey, wait a second! Nick, what's going on? He's a witness for tomorrow's trial. Ah. Uh... Cool. That was a scene. Hmm. <clears throat> what in the world happened with Ben and Trilo? Quite a pair, those two. What did that puppet? Oh! Oh, <laughs> stop! <laughs> There's not a monkey talking to me. Oh no, no what? <laughs> ah! Ah! Yo! <gasps> no, 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 not my, not my badge, not my badge, not my lawyer's badge. No, 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 no. Hey, welcome back, Nick. Th 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 that monkey. Ah! My badge. No, not, 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 not acceptable. The monkey stole it! What? Is there a dirty? That face was so cute. Ooh. You look so completely dumbfounded. Gigi! You! That monkey! Hey, no need to get angry. Ooh, ooh, okay. B -b but my attorney's badge! And don't worry, me can use you. I'll help you out. Okay, if you say so. If I don't get my badge back, how can I flash it? By the way, the monkey's name is Money. Money the monkey. His name is Monkey Money? Oh my god. The monkey, it's called Money? Yes. Well, the rich ape just stole my attorney's badge. Mind if I get that back? I'll see what I can do, even if, uh, even I have money problems. Somehow I don't want to believe that. Hey? Whenever money sees something shiny, takes it back home. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Well, I guess it'll just have to find out where money disappeared to. I think that's your best bet. You should probably ask Uncle Mo. No. He might know. Huh? You don't know? Well, Money isn't exactly someone I am friendly in terms with. What? He's not really the kind of animal I work with, even if he does need taming. Mm -hmm. Not the clown again, man. I'll give a warning before we go to the clown, guys. Don't worry. Oh, I see. Go to Moe's. Hmm. I guess it is time that I revisit that kooky clown. No, it is never time to revisit that kooky clown. Uh, do you mind telling us a bit about Ben? Ben! Oh, you mean the guy that is always hanging around with Trilo? What do you mean, hanging around? Well, he was there when Trilo told me that he was in love with me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. These people need help. Trilo told you he was in love with you? Yes, he did. Kind of cute, don't you think? No. Not in the slightest. He's so smart, and he's such a wonderful singer. I love him. Oh, no. But what about Ben? What about Ben? He's got nothing to do with my love for Trilo, Baka. <laughs> like sand through the hourglass, so are the days of the circus. Apparently. Gigi, you were proposed to, weren't you? Proposed to? Nope. That won't be for a while. Huh? Really? That's strange, isn't it, Nick? Yeah, but Max and Trilo both said otherwise. They said they'd ask for her hand in marriage. Ah, but Max only talked about the ringmaster about it. I forgot about that. He asked the ringmaster for her hand, not Gigi directly. So I guess Trilo hasn't asked her directly yet. What? He's gonna propose to me? so confused. How about you, Maya? Huh? What? Who do you think I should go for? Max or Trilo? Neither! Stay far, far away from both of them. You're a 16-year-old girl. Wait, wait. You do realize that Trilo is a puppet. Uh -huh. 
Apparently the ringmaster should have funded a therapy for all these performers. Seriously! <laughs> You'd think of all people in the world that would need it. It'd be these people. I don't care that he's a bit stiff. Oh boy. Jesus, she is something else, man. Um, okay. Um, okay, we have to go see Mo. Oh boy, just a heads up, guys. Here comes the clown. Do 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 do. Huh? Detective Gumshoe took off already. Yeah, probably because we ditched him earlier. I bet he and the other cops get got lonely and headed back to the precinct. All right, here comes Mo. Oh my, if it isn't Mr. Ray all the time! Oh, ugh. It's alright to be wrong every now and then, right? See, Nick, it just took a while for the joke to find its audience. No. Sigh. So what can I do for you? Did you mean a uh, good joke you wanted to tell me? <gasps> pull up a chair, or maybe just pull up pull my finger and let me have it. We're gonna get the same sound effect either way, aren't we? How'd you know I put a whoopee cushion on the chair? You really know what it takes to be a clown, don't you? So, about Gigi. Gigi's such a pure, innocent child. She's such a cutie, too. Thank God the clown is at least not part of this love triangle. I think I would... I think I'd have it if that was the case. She was born and raised in the circus, you know. But that means she doesn't really know about the... World outside the big top. Sounds like Pearly and Maya. For her, every child's dream of the circus is her everyday reality. She lives in a dream world. She, uh, she sees dancing wild animals, men flying through the air, and one very funny clown every day. The funny thing is, that all seems normal to her because it is everyday life. That suddenly makes a lot of sense. I guess that explains why she thinks she can marry a ventriloquist puppet. Don't ask me if her reality is a good thing or a bad thing, though. A clown sees life simply, without complications. Money the monkey, please, so we can leave. Have you ever heard of a monkey named Money? Ah, uh -huh, yes, Money! He stole my attorney's badge. Well, Money does love shiny objects. It makes sense that he swiped a few badge. But under no circumstances can you chase after him. Uh, what's that? Oh, I know. You don't want to get involved in any monkey business, right? Exactly! Bravo, bravo! I'm not joking around, though. Money isn't considered a member of Gigi's family. Then, who does he belong to? I'll be happy to take you to where his owner is staying. You mean right now? Of course. Shall we go? Mm, should we go with him now? Please, let's get this over with. Oh my god, it's the monkey drippy he always uses in his text. <laughs> the Acro's room? Is there another character? Guys, I only have so many voices. Huff, huff. This is it. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? I can't breathe. Don't be such a wimp. You only had to climb two flights of stairs. Pant, pant. Anyways, this is the place. Acro's room. Acro? He's an acrobat. It seems like he's not around today. Hey, that's a big pile of junk over in the corner. I don't think you'd be wrong to assume the Phoenix's stuff is over there, too. Just be careful to make sure you've got the right stuff. Thanks, Mo. A monkey who takes care of Acro. Takes care of Acro. Hab habitat habitually gathers all sorts of shiny objects. Okay. Let's get my badge, please. Holy cow! There's a fork and a mirror. Everything's shiny. Oh, he's the little mermaid. There's even a really cheap-looking knockoff wristwatch. Look at this. It's a trophy, and it's really heavy. Nick, I found it. You're bad. It's right here. Oh, thank God. Thank goodness. Oh, on my lapel. Yep, that is the badge then. Thanks. You really saved me. Huh? What's the matter? Did you find something? Yeah! Check this out! It's a ring! 
There's something engraved on it. From T to R. Trilo did not buy a ring for her. Oh. That's unfortunate for everybody. Well, I think it's about time we wrap up our investigation. Do you think we'll win in court tomorrow? Who knows? Even I can't imagine what kind of testimony will come out tomorrow. Now, I'm guessing Mo will be a witness in the court tomorrow. How can it... How can... How can Ben afford a ring? And that big, too. Mo and maybe the puppet. Don't worry, Nick. No matter what, we still got a magician on our side. That's good, because we might need some magic tomorrow. I got the magic in me. Every time... To be continued. Every time I touch the ground, it turns into gold. Ba 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 I got the magic, magic, magic. Magic, magic, magic. Oh, good, we're in court. Good morning, Max. No, you can't do this here, Max. Max, this is a this is a courtroom. It was fine when you were in the jail cell, because like the guards could clean it up, but not not here out in the open. Please, please, Max, please. Max M Milk? What? If I don't have a glass of milk before I go on stage, I just can't function, sweetie. Is it stage? Don't worry, there won't be a stage. All you have to do is sit down. I guess. Nick, Max is really nervous. That's understandable. Hey, my sweeties. What? You don't think I should fly, do you? Huh? You know, you've got to make a good first impression. When I enter the room, maybe I should fly in and warm up a crowd a little. No, 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 no. We can't be having you flying around the courtroom. It just wouldn't be right. Imagine if you hit someone. Don't worry, Max. Just do what Nick says and everything will be okay. Oh, sweetie. What is it this time, Max? Why don't you try flying into the courtroom? I can see it now. The dashing young lawyer flying fabulously from, a, from above. Okay, I can picture it too, and that's pretty funny. <laughs> One glimpse of that, and everyone in the room will be on our side. Max, really, no one needs to fly today. Nick, what's with that look in your eyes? I like the sound of that. <laughs> dashing young lawyer flying fabulously. Of course he does. Of course he does. <laughs> And now the case of one. What? Your Honor, get on with it. If Phoenix is flying, the whip can't reach him. Ah! Ah! I like the way you think, Genie. I like the way you think. Oh, sorry. I just realized that the defendant's name is Billy Bob Johns. <laughs> so. Well, isn't that the defendant also known as Maximilian Galactica? Yes, Your Honor. He does often go by that name. You know, my grandchild is a huge fan of his. <gasps> he has kids and a grandchild? <gasps> I must know what they look like. I'm imagining his face with the beard and everything but just on different bodies. Like, even the wife and, and, their, and the baby. It's just his face with a beard. I really want to see that. I think everyone here wouldn't mind if we call the defendant Maximilian Galactica. It sounds more friendly. Geekster, are you still here? Do you want to work your magic and make a picture for us? I wonder if that is to our advantage. Miss Von Karma, your opening statement, if you please. I hope you didn't bother thinking you'd win this one, Mr. Phoenix, right? Eh? That spirit channeling trial was a sham. I refuse. Sham! Wow! I refuse to acknowledge its legitimacy. 
He did not count, you hear me? God, poor sport. She must still be upset about what happened last time. You have no chance. Zero, zilch, nada. I'm not losing this case. Why, you ask? Because it is not in the matter of a Von Karma to lose at anything. Yes, being born with the name Von Karma is a free pass to be arrogant and annoying. You said it, Maya. Watch and learn, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'll show you the textbook procedure for proving how absolutely guilty you are. Me? Guilty? Yeah, what are you talking about? Hey, she whipped me unconscious last time. Why, why haven't they taken away the whip yet? It will be my ultimate revenge. But it's not like it'll bring her dad back. From what, though? I want to know if he's dead or not. There. Opening statement complete. Now, let's hurry and wrap this up. Uh, up uh, wrap up this waste of time. Very well. You may call your first witness Miss Von Karma. Detective Dick Gumshoe, get up here. Now. Yes. Yes, Dick. Sorry to keep you from work. I'm sure you need every penny you can, Detective. Don't mention it! It's no trouble at all! I've been looking forward to this! Very well. I would like you to begin by shedding light on the events in question. At your service, sir! Alright, Detective, you may proceed with your testimony. Details of the event. The night of the crime, snow was falling until 9.40 p.m., making it extremely cold out. All of the circus performers were gathered in the big top to practice their routines. The practice session broke up around 10 p.m. The murderer itself took, the murder itself took place in the plaza in front of the lodging house at 10.15 p.m. The victim, Dr. Eggman, was found bent over a wooden box, dead as a doornail. Jesus. The cause of death was blunt force trauma that snapped the vertebrae in his neck. Probably sounded the hedgehog giving him a homing attack. I see! He was beaten to death! Here's the autopsy report for the victim. The core accepts us into evidence. Blunt force to the back of the head. Uh, time to have 10 15. Okay, 10 15. A blunt object! Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross examination. I swear to God, if it's the clock from the first game. Yes, Your Honor. What is going on with this green screen? I don't know why it's doing that. It wasn't doing that earlier. Dang it, man. Yes, Your Honor! Hold it! Let me ask you about the snow. It was nearly a blizzard up until the time of the crime! Did it pile up? It wasn't such a big deal. Maybe about an inch and a half on the ground. The snow froze in place and stayed on the ground until the next day! Mmm, the snow. Let me see, there's gotta be more to this. Eh? What's the matter, Nick? Not even take a look at the court record. Mr. Gumshoe, what were the members of the circus doing the night of the crime? Wait, I need to look at the court record? Why? What's wrong with the snow? I'm conf I'm confuzzled. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with that? No one's falling until 940. That's fine. I don't see anything wrong with that. When you say all of the circus performers, who do you mean? Everyone but the dancers and the staff was there. Gigi the animal tamer, Mo the clown, Ben the ventriloquist, and of course, the defendant Maximilian Galactica, and his victim, the ringmaster. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, Regent the Tiger was there as well. Out of curiosity, but what about the circus monkey? Is the monkey the murderer? Is the monk is the monkey the murderer? Guys, what if 
What if the monkey was the murderer? <laughs> that's uh, that's what I'm placing my bet on, guys. I'm placing my bet on the monkey. <laughs> monkey, that's it. I'm all in. When I was investigating yesterday, he happened to snatch my wristwatch. He stole his watch. Detective, you're welcome to file a police report after these proceedings. The practice session broke up around 10 p.m. Oh, I think we're pressing that. Now, after the practice was over, where did everyone head off to? And Gigi was playing with Regent, while Mo went back to his room, tired from work. Fanny's ventriloquist went to the front gate, absorbed in his own work. The ringmaster and Max went off to the ringmaster's room to talk privately. Talk privately, huh? That's awfully suspicious. You wouldn't happen to know what they were talking about, would you? It seems you were negotiating Max's salary. False. Actually, Max was asking for uh, Gigi's hand in marriage. Been playing New Leaf for half an hour and already has more life than New Horizons. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it, Trippy Man. I'd like to be uh, you to be a bit more specific about the events at 10:15 p.m. Um. Uh, okay. Not a problem, pal. We got away. Ow! This is totally meaningless. Time to move on. No, it's not. All right, we'll just have to revisit that testimony later. No. Detective Gumshoe, would you mind telling us how the victim met his end? What? I want to talk about that. I want to talk about that. A wooden box. That's right. The victim must have been carrying the wooden box when he was killed. Oh, we never saw what was in the box, did we? I walk out my house to see if the garden stopped sleeping. I woke him up and then it leads every day since I was gone, so I helped them. That's so cute. <laughs> the judging by the box. Oh, carrying the box, huh? It was a rather strange wooden box, Your Honor. Oh my God, was was Nezuko in there? <laughs> Was he actually a demon slayer? <laughs> Hiding in a circus with his little demon sister. <laughs> I, I love that. It was a rather strange wooden box, Your Honor. What do you mean? Well, it was much heavier than it looked. Not to mention it was locked. <laughs> locked, you say? That's it. That's the that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Nezuko is in there. Uh, the victim was hunched over this 20-pound box. It was a small but strong lock. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> this may be my only chance, so I might as well ask some questions. Wooden box, what the lock, what the contents. Uh, let's have the content. Do you mind telling us what was inside the box? Well, when we found the box, it was locked tighter than Fort Knox. So we took it back to the station and cracked it open. All that was inside was this little bottle. Ah, Never mind. Bottle? What is that, detective? Exactly what it looks like, Your Honor. It's a condiment bottle. What's inside the bottle? It's filled with pepper. Pepper? Why in the world was it locked in that box? There was only one little bottle in that huge box? I wonder if that has some sort of special meaning. Interesting. Um. Okay. According to the autopsy report, the murderer weapon was a blunt object, correct? You've done your homework, pal. And you haven't found this murder weapon, have you? The police are searching for it as we speak. My theory is that it is something the perpetrator ran off with. You wouldn't think so. Uh, you would think so, especially since you didn't find it in the scene. No, no, no. I bet he made it disappear of magic. Ho, ho, ho. Well, I think we have a good feel for the death of the event now. I guess that's all we're going to get out of Gumshoe in this case. You mean all we're going to get out of him is that little bottle of pepper? Now that we have wrapped up with the detective, I'd like to call my next witness. Hey, I'm not even off a stand yet. Obviously, but that's due to you being slow and unable to take a hint. I don't know about wrapped up has such uh, a mean sound to it. I'm a sensitive guy. He's definitely a cancer. Also, he definitely doesn't take hints. For sure. 
But thank you very much, Detective Gumshoe. You may step down. Miss Von Karma, call your next witness. I would like to call Mr. Benjamin Woodman to the stand. She must be talking about Ben the Ventriloquist. I wonder if Trila will show up on the stand as well. Definitely. Yeah, there he is. Oh my god. Please state your name and occupation for the record. My full name is Trilo Quest. I am employed as an uh, operatic tenor. Excuse me. The witness called to the stand was one Mr. Benjamin Woodman, ventriloquist. That road must be cutting off your circulation. I said I, I was a singer. Maybe you don't believe me. Fine. I'll grace you with a song. Oh, please don't. Ahem. Me, 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 me. The world of the law, exciting and daring, guilt of innocence, decided by a judge dressed up like a woman. Well, what do you think? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> this game turns my brain off. It had a good rhythm. <laughs> It's just the lyrics that leave something to be desired, so to speak. Yes. Death. <laughs> Trilo, you know better than to insult a judge. Shut up! Just look at your nose! Who, who, you would think you'd have the sense to fix it! Is this, is this self hate? It's so ugly I want to punch you in the face on the, t on, on the off chance swelling would help! Jesus Christ! I mean, like, I know everybody has something about themselves they don't like, but I don't carry a puppet round to yell at myself. <laughs> you know that your nose is the reason you'll never be an A-list star? Oh my god, dude. Celebrities must really enjoy seeing everything that flashes into their minds. What is your damage, sir? Uh, seriously? What's going on here? Order, order, I demand to know who the witness is. D don't, don't worry about me, sir. I'll let Trilo handle this. I'm not worried about you one bit. I'm worried about getting tested. Ouch! You won't get anywhere trying to figure out this witness. Now let's proceed. Oh my God. Once practice was over, I left the tent with the stooge. I mean clown. Once we got to the loading house, I ditched him and went back to the plaza entrance. That's when I saw Max. Heading towards the scene of the crime. Wait, so does he think he can fly? <laughs> does the puppet think he's floating? <laughs> Constantly? He was the one, only one, heading in that way. How could that punk not be the killer? Then the police showed up and took Magic Boy away. You saw Maximilian Galactica heading towards the scene. You were sure of that? Without a doubt, he had on his... Silk hat, cloak, and the dumb white roses on his chest. Well, was he framed then? Because I think we found the hat somewhere else, right? How can you mistake someone with that crazy getup and his nose stuck up so high? Th that's enough. I think we all get the picture. Just one thing. You said you ditched the clown. That's right. Dress boy. Don't call him dress boy. No worries, Jippy. Well, since you weren't with him, couldn't that mean the clown committed the crime? Hmm, he's got a point. What a shame. It was a nice theory, but the clown can't be a the culprit. Why's that? Here's absolute proof. Oh, silk hat. This was found at the scene of the crime. It belongs to the defendant. Ah! Without question, he was wearing his signature hat during his practice. If the clown was the murderer, there would be no reason for his hat to be at the scene. Hmm. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Your prosecutional skills are unrivaled. Well done. Uh, thank you for stating the obvious. Mr. Phoenix Wright, what do you have to say? Okay. <laughs> I guess she's the boss again today. <laughs> I know. Oh, the hat was there. Well... Anyone could have put the hat there. I don't see where the proof is. Like, <laughs> that's nothing.
Literally anyone can wear the hat. I know! They're not even saying there was fingerprints. There's just, oh, um, we saw the hat there. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> I don't think there's anything I can... I'll just press on everything. A clown, you're talking about Mo. Hey, every time I read Mo, that's a character from The Simpsons, right? Who... Which character is Mo from The Simpsons? I, I can't remember what he looks like. Of course, I'm talking about that old fart. He's so pathetic, I can't stand him. Just a little bit of exercise and his makeup is running all over the place. Jesus. Once Bractor was over, or he was nine-tenths of the way he to kneeling over for good. Is Mo the bartender guy? Oh, is that? Let me look him up. I feel like he is. Yes, Moe's the bartender. You were right, you were right, Genie. Poor guy. We didn't have any choice, so Ben took him back to his room. When it comes to being a first place loser, that guy's ahead of the pack. Hmm, then what happened? Yeah, nothing there. Why the plaza's entrance? To do something, uh, to do some thinking, of course. It was awfully cold up that night, especially with the snow around. Wouldn't, wouldn't thinking in your nice warm lodging house have been a better idea? Objection! Mr. Phoenix writes, I think you should leave the thinking to the witness. No, I, I don't think he's in a stable th place to be thinking anything. But I'm a good thunker. At least my teachers always said I was. No comment. Are you sure it was really Max Galactica? Of course I'm sure! How could you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Snobby three-piece getup? Get the wax out of your ears! Well, you're nowadays. You're like talking to a brick wall. Max's three-piece getup. Jeez, could you be any more dense altogether now? Dilk hat, cloak, white roses. Thank you! Nick, I think you should put a little more effort into repairing your questions. Jesus. Okay. You saw Max and only Max up, right, Trilo? That's right, and that makes him the killer. There was only one person headed that way that night. Hmm, that makes quite a bit of sense. It makes Max one suspicious character. I think everyone's suspicious. There's more to this story than meets the eye. Is there something I'm missing this? There was no proof it was Max, right? Wait a second! There's no proof that the witness saw Maximilian Galactica! Hey, hey, hey! You still don't get it, do ya? I saw what I saw! It was Max's three-piece joke of a caution. Say it all together! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, cat, cloak, white roses. Thank you! I think you should study up your celebrities, Mr. Wright. Great! Great. Okay, hold on, let's go back to that one. Let's uh, say he only saw Max. That's a bit strange, don't you think? But what's strange? That you only saw Max. Doesn't it seem like you should have seen someone else as well? What? Where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? Uh, who else do you suppose this witness could have seen? Money! No. Um. Russell, right? That's the victim. That's correct. If Trila was at the uh, entrance of the plaza, he should have seen the ringmaster as well. Ah! Obviously, the ringmaster arrived at seeing the crime before the witness. Could have seen him. Anyone with sense could have figured that out. What are you talking about? The ringmaster and Max went together to the ringmaster's room. Is that according to the defendant? A likely story. If Maximilian Galactica was supposed to be in the ringmaster's room, why was he, just as the witness stated, at the scene of the crime? Ah! It seems at this stage, 
At this stage, I have no reason to doubt the witness's testimony. And there are clearly no conclusive contradictions. He's right. A brilliant judgment, Your Honor. Now let's move along with the testimony. Hmm, Trila wouldn't happen to have an ul ulterior motive for incriminating Max, would he? Yes. Well, Max is part of that bitter love triangle, Gigi. Which is probably why Max cocked him over the head. Um, Nick, wasn't Ben the one who got knocked over the head? Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't know anymore. Okay. And this is the one we haven't found yet. Around what time did the police arrive at the scene? Hey, what time was it? Um, um, I think it was around, I'd say, a bit after 10.30, I think. Practice ended at 10 p.m. So you hung around the lodging house the entire time? I, 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 I guess that sounds about right. But wasn't it awfully cold? I can't believe you just stand outside in that weather. Well, uh, the, tr the truth is... Will you shut up, you big nose dope? Why are you telling him anything extra? Why can't you believe that we just stand outside in the weather? Well, maybe you were waiting for someone. Well, what? You, you said we were waiting for someone! Objection! Okay. Mr. Phoenix Wright, we can all do without your offhand theories. Oh. But! This witness! He's cracking under the pressure already! I'm on to something! Mr. Wright! Who do you suppose the witness was waiting for? Very unfortunately... 16-year-old Gigi. Well, if he was waiting outside in the cold, it was for one person! And one person only! He was waiting for the animal tamer Gigi! Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, did the puppet just die? <laughs> you were waiting outside for Gigi to come back to the lodging house. Am I mistaken? Oh, and he's back. <laughs> Is this true? Well, I, um, you can't really ask me that question. How oh, can't you? I was waiting for that night. Did the puppet just explode? Yes! <laughs> yes, it did! Also, Clem! Hey! I'm glad you're here! I wish he had died. Me too! I feel like... Do you guys know those toys where, like, if you push up, it'll collapse? And then it'll pop back up if you unpush the button? I feel like that's what the doll is. You push the button, it explodes out. But then the strings bring it back in. <laughs> Projectile puppet. Yo, I am... I am Elu. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. What's important is what I saw. Don't forget it. Well, well, well. The puppet may be a bit stiff, but he's right. Hey. All right. There is obviously a reason why this witness was there last night. He spent all the time waiting for Gigi to arrive. Moreover, even if someone else would have walked right in front of him, I doubt he would have paid them a second thought. Ah! <laughs> he has to go around collecting the pieces before he can talk again. What did you just say? The witness saw the defendant assume the crime. Huh? However, he did not see the victim on the way to his eventual demise. Also, I hope I'm saying your your name right. Uh, I am Elu? Elu? Can I call you Elu? Or El? <laughs> What do you prefer? However, he did not see the victim on the way to his eventual demise. If you accept that, then you must accept that there is a high likelihood that he could have missed someone else other than, uh, ow! Did it right? Amazing. Okay, good. I hate butchering names. <laughs> it is, it is my first time. I played the first game uh, on stream and now we're playing the second game and I love it. It has become my new favorite game. Have you played it or seen it before? There is absolutely no proof that the witness was waiting for the animal tamer. Um, um, I guess you got me. All right, all right. Now spill the beans for real this time. It's true. I was waiting for Gigi. Pain. <laughs> Same. 
same, Ben. Same. <laughs> Been playing since 2011. Oh man, you're a long time fan then. Oh man, I I am loving it. This is obviously like honestly my favorite game. Don't volunteer things. Mr. Quest, tell us the truth this time, and I mean the whole truth. Were you or were you not waiting for Gigi at the entrance to the lodging house? It reminded me of when I said sad, but pain. <laughs> I, I know, sad is a mood, but pain, oh my god, that's so good. I was. I was waiting to propose to her. <laughs> I, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make... <laughs> That the sound like you know when you you stub your toe or you hit yourself and you're not actually in pain but like your instant reaction is to say ow I'm gonna try to train myself so that the first thing I say is pain. <laughs> you were what waiting to propose? What's the matter? You think that humans have a monopoly on marriage? That. The matter of puppet marriage is not under review in this case, but should be. Also, the fact that she's underage. You're the judge! I mean, look at your horrible outfit! More pain! That's a really funny moment to live in. Oh, me too. There have definitely been moments where I'm like, they said that, but this game is great for like improving off of. <laughs> it just naturally flows, you know? You can instantly make stories about the characters. <laughs> Thanks to your bumbling, my perfect plan is not so perfect anymore. My fa yeah, my face goes red really quickly. <laughs> is equally hilarious, scary, and deeply concerning. Yes! Exactly, exactly. That that also sums up <laughs> our stream. <laughs> I would say our stream is like hilarious, wholesome, but deeply concerning at the same time. <laughs> now we have to waste time getting to the bottom of a, some silly proposal by a puppet. <laughs> Elu, uh, who would you say your favorite character is? That's pretty spot on, <laughs> right? Right though. <laughs> Your childhood? Oh, I I would have loved if this was my childhood. I'm glad I'm playing it now, though. Don't be so surprised that I was going to propose to Gigi. I even had something to give her. I kept it in my pocket, waiting for the chance to propose and give it to her. Of course, I also had it in my pocket that night. It was a present for her. In the end, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I've still got it in my pocket. But that's not true, because we have the ring. Edgy, yes, Elu, uh, you are you are one of us. You are one. You don't know how much we love Edgy. <laughs> Edgy boy is our absolute favorite. You were going to propose. You, a puppet. Don't be so obtuse. Just because I'm a puppet doesn't mean I can't love. I guess you're right. Just because I'm old doesn't mean I couldn't propose to her, too. Yes, it does! She's 16! I'm so... I'm so mad. Exactly! Like, okay, I know the age of consent in Japan is 16. I understand that. But why would they not translate this? Why couldn't they make the age 18? It's not that hard. Oh, that's so... Especially coming from the guy who enforces the law. The longer this case goes on, the more brain cells I lose. And we can't spare to lose any more brain cells here, guys. We're running low as it is. His honor is looking a little less than honorable right now. Yes, he is. Okay, Mr. Wright, please continue with your cross-examination. Sigh. Even if it was 18, sir. I know! He, he's definitely... He has a grandchild! 
Like, it would still be really messed up if he was, she was 18, but at least it would be legal. This is illegal. What was that sigh at the end? <laughs> God damn it. Don't be so surprised. I am very surprised. By proposal, you mean proposing marriage, correct? No, of course that's what I meant. What kind of stupid question is that? I wasn't going to propose... And that we became some sort of outlaw biker gang together. Right, Ben? Y yeah Got it! That's the truth! Oh, no, no, wait, wait. We can just jump to... This. Uh... I've still got it in my pocket. Hold on, let me save just in case I make a mistake. Um... My innocent child brain didn't see anything wrong with this when I first played the case. Oh, yeah! Oh, totally. It goes... I wouldn't have known it was weird. Unless I like I went to the profiles and I read that she was 16 and she's being proposed to by a 31 year old and a 21 year old Oh my god proposing at 21 even That's That's also scary young. I know people do it, but that's, that's a little too young for me Okay, he said he still had it in his pocket, but that can't be true because we have the ring right here Your Honor! That statement contradicts its evidence! It does! I don't see anything contradictory! What? 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 Is it a bit? Teresa, yo! How's it going? Pepper summon... I actually can't summon Pepper right now because she got a bath and she's soaking wet. So... Tomorrow, or sorry, or next time we stream, remind me, Teresa, and I will 100% bring Pepper down. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the worst timing. Okay, I guess I'll press on that. So you are still thinking of trying to give it to her, Gigi? Of course I am. I spent three months' salary up on this thing. I'm not going to give up that easily. I wonder how much he receives for appealing in the circus. Probably way more than he deserves. How about it, Nick? I think it's about time to unwrap this toy testimony. That's the spirit, Nick. Give him heck. The judge. The judge has that dazed and confused look again. Maybe he should get out more. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, Clem. Okay, I guess we'll press on everything then. What was it exactly that you plan on giving her? You know exactly what I was going to give to her, numbskull. The only thing I could find that would match Gigi's beauty. Answer his question. What was it? You're gonna die when you hear this. It's an engagement ring. Engagement ring? Engagement ring? Wow, those two nearly fell out of their chairs. Mr. Phoenix Wright's joke has gone too far. Time for this to end right here. Fazika's whip looks like it's about to lash out at almost anything. One hit from that thing will probably shut someone up for a long time. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> pain equals bad, <laughs> push anyway. <laughs> push anyway. <laughs> it may be something of a joke, but this is a historic moment. The first time that a puppet has ever proposed to- Ow! I advise you to cut his argument short. I'm going to have to agree with the defense here. Will the witness please revise at their testimony? Specifically about the engagement ring. I'd like to stick to the facts, not sociology. <laughs> you should know by the music stop by now. Yeah, I know. I was just hopeful that it wasn't. You sure do enjoy sweating in the details. Especially for a man in a black bathrobe. An engagement ring. There we go. An engagement ring? Uh-huh. It's actually a diamond-shaped stone cut from glass. Even more brilliant than the real thing. I think Gigi's gonna love it. It's just a ring. What's the matter, Nick? Well, there's gotta be something I can catch him on. Yeah, the fact that we have it. <laughs> Whose pocket was the ring in? I prefer bearded gentlemen. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> I love that quote. <laughs> Fine, of course. What a stupid question. You've got to be kidding me. You think Ben would pull that off? 
Uh, uh, I'm so sorry, R really. You don't have to apologize for that. He's the one who should be apologizing. Really? All right, all right. So you went to the lodging house to give it to her. That's right. I tried to give it to her during practice so many times that I lost count, but that uppity snob kept getting in the way. Uppity snob? He couldn't possibly be talking about me, Maximilian Galactica. When I got a hold of him, I'm gonna saw his wood block in half, and not with magic. Well, they always say that love creates rivalries. So what about this present? Okay. So you were still thinking of trying to give the Gigi? Of course I am! Yeah, three months salary. We know that, we know that, we know that. Yep, 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 yep. Okay! So, we've pressed on everything. We give an idea who the culprit is? Honestly, no. Not at all. I... <laughs> my Don't spoil it, but my guess is the monkey. <laughs> uh, don't be so surprised. Uh, I'm going to reveal it to Gigi. I kept it in my pocket, waiting for the chance to propose and give it to her. Of course, I also had it in my pocket as a present for her. Not the lion? <laughs> I didn't think of the lion, you're right. It could be the lion. Revenge for the dad killing the lion. The lion, the tiger took out the revenge. Okay, I guess we'll present it on this. Um, uh, this one right here. What? Really? Up there? Please. The lion hardly ever bites people. <laughs> GG 2021! <laughs> Kept it in my pocket for the chance to give it to Rose and give it to her. So I still got it in my pocket. False! We have it right here! Polly the bear! <laughs> there we go. Trilo, do you mind if I show you something? Those were literally her words. Hardly ever, ma'am. <laughs> Polly was such a good character. Our favorite characters are uh, Gordy and Penny and Finn the Dancing Bear so far. <laughs> well, what is it? What are you talking about? Uh-oh. Looks like they're gonna double-team me now. Ew. Ew! Wait. If they went through with the marriage... Oh, I don't want to imagine that. He would literally be there holding the puppet for... I'm not... Guys, forget I said anything. Let's, let's move on. Do you recognize this ring? <laughs> I'm not, don't worry, don't worry, I'm not, I'm not going there, I'm not going there. I'll let you guys fill in the blank. Ah, that's, that's, that's mine! Give it back, thief, thief! <laughs> Didn't you just testify about this very object? I believe you said... In the end, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I've still got it in my pocket. Yo, the new zoo, how's it going, dude? Sacrilegious, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> On a Christian channel like this. Oh, we have, we have, sh the Christian channel has shipped sh ship sales ages ago. We are far, far past that. <laughs> Why then do I have it right here? Ah! I think that's my favorite animation so far, just him exploding. What is going on? That's, that's, Ben, say something! Hey, don't put me on the spot like that, Trilo. I found this in that money's room. The money's room? You mean a room they put money like a bank vault? Ha! That filthy monkey is gonna get us coming to him. Mr. Quest, I would prefer if you avoided slandering innocent of fiats in my court. Well, Your Honor, money really is a monkey. In every sense of the word. Oh, I see. Well then be the tenor? Uh, no. No, I didn't. <laughs> but it's, it, it fits. It fits. Oh, I see. Well, then. Money likes to go after sh the shiniest things that he can find and gather them up. 
shiny things. Trilo, when was this ring stolen from you? Well, I suppose it was that time, you know, that night, the night of the crime. What did you just say? Details, I need more details. Well, it was stolen right after Max showed up in the plaza. Right about when you saw the defendant... Oh, right about when you saw the defendant walk past, correct? Well, um, I guess you might, um, be able to say that. Though Ring might have, well, it could have been taken around then. Ah! Jesus. Yo, welcome back, Drippy Man! Ben! What's with you? No, oh, whatever. It has nothing to do with anything, especially not who committed the murder. It's not for you to decide what has to do with what. Now, Trilo, back to the topic at hand. I haven't committed a thing, not I, Mr. Trilo Quest. What did you do when the ring was taken, Trilo? You know exactly what I did. I chased after that ring snatching monkey money. But you weren't able to catch him, were you? It's all this slow, loafy fool called Ben's fault. While he was fumbling his way through the snow, that dumb monkey was able to get away. That is indeed inc an incredible shame. Well, this does indeed prove one very important point. Prove an important point? What point could that possibly be? Ben doesn't exercise enough. Ben's testimony has a flaw. There is a huge contradiction in his test witness's testimony. C -c -c contradiction The witness just testified to the following effect. Up until the police... I'm Ben. Come! <laughs> no, didn't we say... <laughs> you... <laughs> no, we said you were related to Lana. That's what we said. Because <laughs> she was from Argentina. I guess you can be Ben. <laughs> no. No, because... Ben is trying to marry an underage girl. Glem, you're not Ben. You're not Ben. <laughs> Up until the police arrived, he didn't move from the entrance to the plaza. However, the witness just stated that he chased after the monkey. When the witness was off chasing money, there was no one watching the plaza. What is the meaning of all this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Where are you going with this little theory of yours? No, Truly was trying to marry an underage girl. Glem, don't try to date! <laughs> don't give him excuses! He's <laughs> He's a creep who plays with puppets. Are we shocked? Are we shocked that he's trying to marry an underage girl? <laughs> now I'm saying that there is no possible way that this witness saw the plaza the uh end the entire time. That's where I'm going with this little theory, which leads me to the next point. It is entirely possible that someone other than the defendant was at the scene. Interesting. Interesting, Mr. Ryle. Well then, tell me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Do you have any proof that something slipped past this villagent ventriloquist? Well, he obviously didn't see the victim, the ringmaster, arrive on the scene. However, that doesn't change the fact that he saw the defendant arrive. The witness is lying! He is blinded by his rivalry with Max! Well, the defense's argument does hold water. This witness does have a history of animosity towards the defendant. What? How dare you! I wouldn't lie just to get that dork face in trouble. He's not even worth it! I saw him, no doubt about it. I saw that worthless liar. Well... Just for clarity's sake, let's flesh out exactly who saw who you saw on that night. Ha! I told you so many times. You'd think you'd know my story's not changing. You've already changed your story, stick boy, and I'm sure it will change some more. Where there is one lie, there are usually many more behind it. Exactly, Maya. That's why we have to keep after him. Yeah.
All right, all right, all right. I'll give you that I saw... Uh, I'll give you that I was waiting... The night of GG. Oh, no, guys, don't worry. I will give you a heads up if the clown pops up. <laughs> don't worry, guys. <laughs> uh, I'll give you that when I was waiting... But that doesn't change the fact that I saw Max in the plaza that night. He showed up after I had been waiting there for about five minutes. I said good evening to him, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence. I'm absolutely sure it was him. I saw Maximilian Galactica at the scene. There was no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. But it could have been anybody wearing those. Hmm. Hmm. So that means money didn't show up until after you saw Max. That's right. Money ran up less than a minute after I saw Max. Then money snatched the ring, and you went uh, chasing after him. How long was it until you came back to where you were waiting? Well, let's see. I'd say about... I suppose five minutes, I think. No, the victim could have arrived and seen the five-minute stretch. <clears throat> Mr. Wright, please proceed with your cross-examination. Oh, boy. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'll give you that I was waiting for that night. GG. Wouldn't change the fact that I saw Max in the plaza that night. Showed up after I had been waiting for about five minutes. I said good evening to him, but he didn't acknowledge my presence. Why wouldn't he acknowledge her presence? Now she's sure it was him. All right, let's press on everything just to be sure. Just to be sure. So you were uh, your only concern was waiting for GG that night. That means you probably wouldn't have noticed if someone else showed up. You should think about how many eyes I actually have. I've got four, you know. Four. F-O-U-R. Counting Ben, of course. That's not how that works. With that many eyes, do you really think something would have slipped by me? Four eyes is an awful lot of attention directed at one area, I suppose. Judge. Judge, please grow a brain. Yikes. The judge is even more dangerous to our case than Trilo. My god. So, you saw Max coming out of the big top that night. Of course, that's where I saw him coming from. I was staring at the entrance to the tent the entire time. I guess that makes sense, especially since he was waiting for Gigi. He showed up after I had been waiting there for about five minutes. I said good evening to him, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence. I'm absolutely sure it was him. I saw Maximilian Galactica at the second scene. There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. Oh, shit, sorry. Ah, uh, wait, <laughs> I thought I was still... Ah, we did this one. We did this one. Five minutes, there we go. You're the dumbest people on the planet if you can't figure it out yourself. You already know that practice finishes at probably 10 p.m. And you already know that I went to the lodging house right after practice. You don't need to be a brain surgeon to know around what time it was when I saw him. Just add 10 more minutes. I'm sure you can do that. Now, what time was it? Indeed, what time was it? Oh my god. Let me think about that for a second. Why? No one tell the time? It was 10 10 p.m. Ah, yes, that sounds about right. It sounds about right because that's the time I saw Max on the scene. Pain! <laughs> okay, uh. Let's do this Whoa. one. So you testified that you said good evening to Max that night. You must enjoy asking incredibly obvious questions. You say good morning in the morning and good afternoon during the day, right? And it's obvious that I'd say good night to someone at night. What, Ben? You've got something to add? Let me guess. That's not it, Trilo. You say good evening at night. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Trilo. Well, yes. Mr. Quest, I would prefer if you kept your Antulaquist act outside the courtroom. Impossible! A performer lives and breathes for his performances. You should know better. There's got to be something wrong with this bit of testimony. Uh, Trilo's evening greeting. Ends half of the comedy act? Let's try Trilo's evening greeting. 
that a bit strange to you? What do you mean? Well, if you hate Max so much, why would you bother being so nice to him? It strikes me as somewhat strange. Why would it strike you as strange? Exactly. How is it strange to be a cordial to one of your co-workers? Well, you're one to talk, Mrs. Whip. Well, if it was simply just being cordial uh, to a co-worker, co I would understand. Ow, that hurt! Maybe you should think of having some proof before your lips start flapping next time. Proof is everything in this world. You should have learned that back in grade school. There's no reason that Trila would have said something nice to Max. How do I go about proving that with evidence? Bluffing is everything in this world. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm sure you already learned that one. I guess I can give it a shot. The witness will resume his testimony. Okay. This, right? Maybe? Um... We'll keep pressing. You are 100% absolutely sure of what you just said. I already told! I don't- I don't already- Jeez, I am 100% absolutely sure! I heard really loud screams uh, coming from outside, and I was extremely concerned until I realized there's a football match today. <laughs> Clem, no! <laughs> as long as there's not a riot afterwards, that's all that counts. And if there is one, let me know, because I would very much like to partake. There's no way that could there could be any more confident than that, right? Okay. The last one. The 100% will be... I'm coming. I want I want to be there for it. Those three ridiculous symbols, huh? Out of curiosity, exactly how many times have you asked the question by now? If you're going to ask again, I'll answer with a chorus. Everyone together now. So, Cat, Cloak, White Roses, goddammit. Thank you very much. Maya, you didn't have to join in, did you? But it's fun shouting out with everyone else. There has to be a hole in testimony somewhere. I agree, but we do. Do we have proof to make something stick? All we can do is try, right, Nick? We've got to have something that will prove useful. All right, time to go to work. It's the two biggest football clubs playing today. <gasps> so whatever the outcome is, a McDonald's will be stored. Yes! Oh my God! Wait, is it gonna be that one McDonald's that gets destroyed? Hey, do we have proof? White roses, hat, uh, silk hat made to order hat that is a symbol of maximum found on the crime scene. Oh, why would? Yo, hi, Mew, dude. How's it going, man? Um, would it not? I feel like I should present present the hat. I could also present the broken bottle to show that they're not friends, but I'll think about it. Okay, here, here's what I'm gonna try. Here's what I'm gonna try. Here's what I'm gonna try. I wanna fight the sun. Uh, why are we fight? Guys, don't take on the sun. <laughs> Actually, the sun is a dick. I gave you full permission. Take out the sun, guys. Okay. Nope, that wasn't it. That was not it. That was not it. Um. Um. Three symbols. Can we present the poster? Objection. 
Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, let's try this one. Bottle. Ah, we got it. Trilo! Is it not true that you had a fight with Max on the day of the murder? A fight? A fight over Gigi, to be exact. Nah, it wasn't that big of a deal. It was just an argument. A disagreement at most. A disagreement usually doesn't end with someone getting clunked over the head. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> that morning, Ben got clobbered over the head by Max, didn't he? We can be creatures of the night from now on, like patchers or vampires. Nope, not the blue badger, goddammit. <laughs> Fine, you can either be a blue badger or a vampire. Those are your two choices, guys. I know what I'm choosing. But what? Is that an omission of assault and battery? Ouch! Before we handle that, we should wrap up the defendant's murder charge first. Badger, vampire, or, or both. The truth is that on the day of the crime, the defendant and witness had a huge fight. There is absolutely no way they would have uh, suddenly become cordial that evening. Moreover, just consider the personality of the witness on the stand. There is no way a puppet this lewd uh, would just up and say good evening to his rival. You're right, the blue no, the blue badger is a saint. He would never, he would never do something like that. Are you saying this witness is lying? That he was trying to frame the defendant by claiming to have seen him at the crime scene? Ay, 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 ay. I didn't tell a single lie, honestly, I just... That's enough from you, Mr. Quest. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Let's clarify this testimony for the court. Could you explain your theory about the witness who actually blah 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 blah? Uh, okay. He didn't see anyone. Saw the defendant. Saw a different person. He saw a different person. It is my belief that the witness did indeed see someone that night. It was just someone else. That's who he said good evening to. What kind of theory is that? The correct one. <laughs> Furthermore, I don't believe the person the witness saw was Max at all. What? If he had truly met Max that night, there would have been no greeting at all. Which means there is only one proper answer. The person the witness saw that night was not Maximilian Galactica. That is why Trilo made the effort to greet whoever it was that he saw that evening. Or, good evening was as he put it. Ah! What in the world, you? Would the defense kindly explain who it was Trilo saw that evening? The monkey! No. I don't know. Well, if it wasn't Max, then it obviously wasn't Ben. That means it could either be... GG? No, but he was waiting for GG. So it would have to be either... But he said the clown was a good for nothing. No, I can't save at times like these. She was happy. True, but he was waiting there to see her? So I feel like... It wouldn't have been her, because otherwise he would have popped the question, right? I feel like it has to be either him or Mo, because my fay easy. Because no, but he wouldn't say good evening to the clown because he said he's a no good nothing. Okay, I, this, this might be rough. The murderer is always by it. I'm gonna try Barry. Considering the ill temper of the witness, there's only one person he would greet. It must be Gigi. It's Gigi, right? She's so cute. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. No, Your Honor. It is not Gigi. If it was Gigi, Trila would have given her the engagement ring as a present. Oh, yeah, I suppose you've got a point there. 
It was Russell Berry. The victim himself, was it not? There we go. You are correct. It was indeed Russell Berry. The person you saw that evening was a victim. The ringmaster, Russell Berry. That's why he you greeted him, Trilo. Isn't that correct? Nope. Answer the question, Mr. Quest. Can you please stop exploding your puppet? It takes two minutes to put him back together every time you do that. We need we need to proceed with this. Order, order! How do you respond to this? Well, wait a second! Well, at first I thought it was the old man! But, but! Once I got a better look at him, it was obviously Maximilian Galactica! What? What? I think it is high time that we clear the air about this question. Mr. Quest obviously witnessed a single person in that area of the plaza that evening. The problem is identifying exactly who that person was. Was it Maximilian? Or was it the Ringmaster? One Mr. Russell Berry. The prosecution argues that it was the defendant that night. The, the witness saw that night. The witness has clearly stated that he saw the defendant's three symbols. Three symbols. All right. This is getting old! Come on, man! You've got to remember by now! Here we go again, everyone! All together! Ow! <laughs> yes, yes, we know! The silk hat cloak and the white roses! Thank you. Thank you, Von Karma. The silk hat and a cloak! Anyone could wear them! They'd even look good on me! Uh... What was that? Well, the witness has endlessly repeated what he saw. Max is three symbols. However... How do we really know it was Maximilian Galactica? It could have been someone else dressed up as him. Possibly even Russell Berry. What? Miss Von Karma. Do you have clear evidence that the person in the witness saw was not the defendant? Well, I... If that's the case, then this... Then it's impossible for me to make a judgment at this point. Yes! I think we finally won a point in this one. You think they would have reached that conclusion earlier? Right? Oh, could have had a V8. That is very unfortunate. Huh? You're just a little too excited for your own good, Mr. Phoenix Rice. What do you mean by that? You merely established one thing from this witness. You established that this uh, witness saw one person in the plaza that night. I applaud you on your effort, but... But? Who that person was can only be answered by the next witness. Oh, no. Huh? Your Honor, the prosecution will provide, beyond a shadow of a doubt, an answer to that question. An evidence that clearly establishes one thing. That there is no one other than Maximilian Galactica responsible for this crime. Very well. The court will take a 10 minute recess. During that time, I request the prosecution to prepare the next witness. The court is now in recess. So is it the clown next? To be continued. Right now. Is it, is it the clown next? I feel like it's the clown next. Heads up, guys. The clown's coming. If you guys, if you guys need to hide... I don't blame you. I would hide as well. Uh, just a reminder, our Discord is a uh, clown-free zone. If you would like to hide and uh, continue the talk, I will, I will gladly interact with you guys. But you do not have to stick around if the clown shows up. So, sweetie, you have to believe me. I didn't go anywhere near that crime scene. So then, where were you when the murderer took place? The bunker. <laughs> yes, the bunker. We talked about it yesterday, remember? I was in the ringmaster's room. Oh, look! It's the cloak and the hat. And while you were there, it was the ringmaster who left the room, right? You live streamers give me anxiety? Wait, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> He told me to wait in the room because he would be right back. Especially when you don't save. I save enough. I actually save too often. There was a time I saved. And 
<laughs> I got locked in a loop of losing because I saved too often. <laughs> I soft locked. That's when the ringmaster hand, hand, uh, headed to the scene of the crime, right? That's what it seems like. But the ringmaster must have been wearing Max's costume, right? Oh, sweetie, I just remembered. I went straight to the ringmaster's room, still dressed in my stage clothes. But when I got there, I went ahead and took the costume off. Which means... It means the ringmaster could have taken the costume and went out looking like Max. Fabulous! That's a fabulously possible possibility. <laughs> well done, Nick. However, sweetie, why would the ringmaster want to dress up like me? Isn't that a bit strange? Hmm. If you think about it, all they found at the crime scene was my silk hat. That's true. What about my cloak? Where did that go? Double hmm. Wow, Max, I never thought... I never thought of that. You should be a detective or something, no. No, you shouldn't. Well, I was never quite sure what to be when I grew up. Magician or president? Well, I'm glad you went with the first. So someone killed him and changed the corpse's clothes? Yeah. What left the hat? Why wouldn't they leave the cloak? Like, if they wanted to truly frame him, why wouldn't they leave everything? Maybe they really like the coat. That is true. That is a snatchy. I have always wanted a cape. Not like a cringy superhero cape, but like... Kind of like what they wear in Attack on Titans, you know? To make it look like a mistake. Oh, that's true. Glam, you genius. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you were able to commit murder and frame someone. <laughs> like it was accidentally left by Max. That's so true. That's so true. That's really cool. Fabulous. This mystery just keeps getting deeper. I'm not saying you would kill someone. <laughs> I'm just saying you would be able to get away with it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Okay, guys, I think the clown's coming, so uh, just brace yourself. Now that everyone is back, let's get started. T to the Discord! <laughs> the, the court is now back in session. Danger zone! Wait. Danger zone! This is wrong karma. Now, Miss Parker, please proceed with the prosecution's case. Very well. Oh, hey there. <laughs> hey, guys, how's it going <laughs> in the Discord? I will now call my next witness. A pitiful clown with the unfortunate distinction of having seen the entire thing. Don't worry, guys. I'll try to I'll try to breeze through this part. But Mr. Lawrence Curls, his name is Lawrence Curls. Please take the stand. Drippy. Clown free zone in the Discord. No clowns allowed. Please and thank you. <laughs> Why did she just call him a pitiful clown? The witness will state his name and occupation for the court record. What? <laughs> name and occupation. Will the witness please inform the court why he is speaking autobiographically biographical gibberish? Uh, uh, oh, I, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just not used to being in court. I've never been in a court in my, in my life. I wasn't quite sure what joke is best suited to this court occasion. Has anyone here actually been in court before? Like, have been having to do court duty? I'm, I'm curious to see if anyone has and what it's like. What in the world are you talking about? Were you, you were, you're in a grand hall of justice, not some comedy club. Since it's easy to see your occupation, please state your name to the full, for the court. Oh yeah, maybe this is a, maybe this joke is okay. Mom, do I have to wear pants? The sign only says no shirt, no shoes, no service. Oh my god. Can't hide from the clown on an empty stomach. Oh, I just found the best vegan donuts the other day. One of my co-workers showed me a place. Oh, they look delicious. I have to try one. Silence.
Okay, okay, how about this? Have you met my, uh, protog... Pro protocolist? Dr. Seymour Butts! How was that one? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh! Oh my god. But a couple of clouds were... Your name! Lawrence Curls! Professional funny man, also known as Mo the Clown. Wait, Jeannie, are you vegan as well? Did I, did I know that? Or do you just like vegan f things? You witness, uh, you witness a scene of, at around 10, 15 p.m. the day of the murder. Correct? Yes, yes it is. Very well, Mr. Curls. Will you please testify of what you saw that evening? I'm not ve uh, vegan, my friends are. Oh, nice, Genie. I, I just prefer, like, I, I, I'm vegan. But even just the taste of vegan foods, I love it. Like, I would never go back just because it tastes better, you know? Without the humor, please. Thank you, please. Okay. Aw, oh, poor Mo can't be normal. It's normal Suji self in court. Thank God for that. I know, I know. I'm not the greatest comedian in the world. I haven't been able to make people laugh for ten years. Oh, Jesus. No matter what I say, all I get in return is a vacant stare and polite applause. Since no one ever laughs at my jokes, I've been uh, I'm taking a laugh at them myself. Dude, maybe it's time for a career change. It's a bad habit, but hey, at least I'm trying. Imagine my predicament. I'm a clown who can't make people laugh. I'm almost useless, but none of this has anything to do with the case. But I keep trying. I've even tried to come up with jokes just for today. <laughs> I'm joking. But this atmosphere is very nerve-wracking. I decided to try making everyone laugh. I try to find food we can all eat comfortably, but I do enjoy the flavor too. Aw, Genie, that's so nice! Aw, I wish there were more people like that, man. Most people I know are like, oh, you eat vegan food? Pfft, what are you? Why do you do that? You know what I mean? That's so... I love how open-minded you are. That's terrific. Seriously, everyone. What do you think of me? How am I doing? That wasn't a testimony. Um, aren't we the ones supposed to be asking the questions here? Witness. Huh? We will listen to your call for help after the court proceedings are over. Thus, please stick to the facts of this case. Really? You really, you will really hear me out? Well, I'll make sure that one of my staff will be your straight man later. Thank you, thank you. I can't wait. Poor Gumshoe. I knew it was going to be Gumshoe. <laughs> now that that's settled, shall we begin once again with the testimony? Of course we can. I'll talk for as long as you want. No, please don't. The night of the murder, half the practice was over. I went straight back to my room. You have no idea how tired I was that night. I was pooped. I thought I'd go straight to bed to sleep. But before I did, I glanced out the window. That's when I saw two silhouettes. They were a bit far away. It was the ringmaster, and he was with Max, who was wearing his cloak. I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max clocked the ringmaster over the head. That's very interesting. If this eyewitness uh, eyewitness's account is to be believed, I have enough to pass judgment right now. No, you can't trust a clown. Of course you can. There is no way that this co uh, account can be criticized. However, the witness is a bit, how do you say, off kilter. Almost like he has some sort of atmosphere of guilt surrounding him. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That must be because of my uh, insincere smile. Mr. Wright, please begin the defense's cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Nick, you've got to find some kind of contradiction in his testimony. I know that. Mr. Wright, Your Honor. I'm afraid that if you push the witness too far, it would bring disaster upon the court. Thus, I sincerely hope you are not going to engage in pointless saber-rattling. Saber-rattling? I understand, Your Honor. I don't. If you cause this clown to stray from the facts, I'll hold you responsible. Why am I responsible? I'm not the one with the corny jokes. Okay. Now the murder. On the bed, she did. Oh no worries, Nuzu. Thanks so much for stopping by again, dude. I hope you had fun. 
We'll be back on Saturday if you want to join us. Oh, and for anyone who's new here and wants to join our Discord, uh, there's a link right there. We I also announce uh, when when I go live or in case I can't make it, stuff like that. So if not for anything else, just to know when we're live. You'd say that practice wrapped up around 10 p.m., correct? See, that's the thing. Huh? How exactly am I supposed to make a joke about 10 p.m.? Now, 8 o'clock! Now that's something a clown can riff off of! Let's just pretend it was 8 o'clock! That way I can make a great joke! Let's not... Alright, 8 o'clock then. <sighs> Alright, 8 o'clock then. You know what you want to hear, joke? A man goes to his doctor and the doctor asks, How is number one? The man says, Every day at 6 and the doctor... Witness! These are exactly the type of jokes you should say for the defective. Ow! You knew that wouldn't happen. That you would happen. Don't look at me like that. Mr. Wright, you're here by penalized. I'm penalized? Okay, okay, so no jokes. <laughs> no more jokes. Got it, got it. I'm gonna save now. <laughs> oh my god. You were poops that night. Yes, I was very tired. Not to mention I had some bad Mexican food. What? The double cheese double bean enchilada is a dangerous menu item. It sounds dangerous. What happened after that? What happened? Wait. What happened after that? As they say, happened. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I got penalized because I let the, the clown make a joke. That one was cool, huh? I hear the kids really love toilet humor these days. That joke was so hip, I don't want to ruin it with a reply. Am I penalized again? All I did was question him! Oh, this is bad. Oh my god. The clown is dangerous. You just happened to glance out of the window? You could say that. You could also say I peeped, stared, glimpsed, peeped, eyeballed. Mr. Curls! Oh, I guess synonyms aren't allowed either. What should I do? I wonder if I should press him further on this issue. Um, keep pressing. Exactly why did you look out the window that night? Why? Why? Clowns don't need a reason to look out their windows, do they? That's not what I meant. I meant that, well, when we spoke yesterday. Yeah, I get penalized just for pressing now. Once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise, which was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. <laughs> he looks so fed up with life. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You forgot? Your Honor, the witness looked out of a window upon hearing a loud sound. He did not just simply glance out of his window that night. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention that, the, that thump bite, didn't I? No! That's not something you just forget to mention. Um, yeah, what she said. I believe it would be best if Mo were to revise his testimony. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Curls. Please revise your testimony. This should start turning the tables in our favor. I heard a huge noise outside the window, and that's what made me uh, take a look outside. There we go. What was it sound like? Well, I guess it kind of sounded like... Hmm. I guess you could say... Mr. Curls, may the court remind you that humor is unnecessary. No! Oh! How did you know that I was going to make a joke? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh my god, is he a humor Homer Simpson now? Well, I guess that sound sounded like a... I guess it sounded like a, someone getting hit with something very hard. Yep, that's what it sounded like, honestly. Someone getting, I mean, someone getting hit. But then, he went to look out the window and you saw... Two silhouettes. Far away, you say. If you had to say exactly how far away were they? Let me think about that for a second. If my room is here, and they look, look out about yay big, 
I see about 30 feet from my window. Just 30 feet? That's not far at all. It was snowing that night, and they cut down on my visibility. No. It stopped snowing around 940, they said? Uh, when did they say it stopped snowing? Oh, no. Do we not have anything that says it wasn't snowing? No, we, we had something. Oh, no. We had something that said it stopped snowing around that time. I see. Please continue with their testimony regarding two shadows that you saw. Remaster and Max. Who did, uh, who did you... You'd say you clearly saw this, even though you were, by your own admission, far away. That's right. I have been thinking about it over and over since that night. But the things, the things didn't really make sense until I spoke with the prosecutor, Ms. Von Karma. Now I am 100% certain that it was Max and the Ringmaster that I saw that night. Just thinking about it. How could I be wrong if Max is always wearing his up, uppity symbols? Uppity symbols? Lawyers nowadays, do you even have to go to school anymore to be one? Alright, everyone knows what to do. All together now, say you of Uncle Mo. No. <laughs> See what I mean? It's always like this. The crowd never wants to go along with me. I wonder why. I must really be utterly and completely worthless as a clown. Yes, and a human being, but that's besides the point. Enough foolishness. Get back on track. Will the witness please testify as to what he saw and only what he saw? Okay. You say you saw the ringmaster get clocked over the head. Yes, I did. It's the climax of my story. He really does enjoy the completely random non-sequitur. What would you say the victim was struck with? You mean the weapon? I have no idea. A weapon wasn't found at the murder scene, right? That's not what I meant. You did say you did see everything, didn't you? Well, I, um, yeah, I suppose I did. Wait, no, I didn't. I didn't see a weapon. Ha, ha, ha. Mo! Did you or did you not see the crime, uh, the crime of murder committed at the night? Objection! I will not permit you to harness my, harass my witness in this manner. You harass everybody with your whip constantly. Shush. You better have an excellent reason for attacking this poor, poor clown. Because if you don't, you know what it's saying is, Oh. oh my god. I'm about to lose so much health. Because if you don't, you know what is waiting for you. A nice penalty. Go. Isn't this a bit melodramatic? Five bars? So what will it be then, Mr. Phoenix, right? Hold up. Let me save real quick. Oh my god. Are we about to die? Do you have any clear basis to believe that my witness did not see a crime? Yeah, she's threatening me a five-bar penalty. Um, do you have any clear basis to believe that my witness did not see the crime? Of course I do. Let's say we do. I've got a great reason to make a claim. And I suppose you will be telling us all that great reason. Of course I will. The reason is... The witness is very own testimony. Okay, good. What is the meaning of that, Mr. Wright? Mo said he heard a sound like a thump of someone getting hit. Oh, he didn't say that. However, Mo just stated that the following under oath. I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max uh, clonked the ringmaster over the head. Oh, that's right. He would have heard the sound and then seen it. If Mo is to be, is to be believed... When he says he looked out the window upon hearing a sound, there is no way that he could have uh, uh, he could have seen Max clonk anyone. Clown unit, what was that? Mr. Curls, how do you respond to Mr. Wright's assessment? They didn't commit. These clowns promptly escaped from a maximum security clown car. Mr. Curls, are you reciting the C-Team theme to anger this court? 
No, no, no! I'm just stalling for time while I jog my memory! Great job, Nick! These types of witnesses always seem to have a selective memory. You just have to peel back the layers of the clown makeup to find the truth. Well, um... Ah, oh, you're back from your jog. Well, it's pretty much happened the way I said. Pretty much. When I looked out my window that night, the ringmaster was already face down in the snow. The prosecution helped me fill in the gaps of my statement. Von, von Karma! Tampering with witnesses again. So now you are saying that you did not see the defendant clonk the ringmaster. Yes. When I looked out my window, the ringmaster had already checked out. Checked out? Yep. He was on permanent vacation, as they say. Permanent vacation. Mr. Mr. Curls! Your Honor? You did not witness the actual crime. However, you still say you saw the criminal, correct? Y yes exExactly! The ringmaster was slumped over, and I saw someone's silhouette next to him. Very well! Then please testify to the silhouette you saw. And if I even catch a hint of a joke from you, I will put you in a holding cell until you learn court equity. Got it? Can we put Von Karma in, <laughs> in the cell until she learns equity? She's whipping people! And the judge! I don't- this is a double standard, man. <laughs> Okay, it was a bit far away, but that shadow could have only been long to Max. There's no doubting it, especially since I saw his uppity symbols. Okay, okay. At this point, I feel bad for the clown. Me too, a little. A little, you know? His silk hat, the black cloak, they were all there. His face was silhouetted, but there was no doubt it was him. What do you mean? You can't say... You can't... You can't say... His face was hidden, but it was no doubt him. You can't... That contradicts itself, man. <laughs> That's not how that works. The people does not equal the judge. <laughs> I mean, the judge gets whipped all the time. <laughs> His cloak was fluttering in the wind, so I couldn't really see what he was carrying. His cloak was flut flut fluttering in the wind. Okay. Okay. Hmm. It does seem as if the defendant was at the scene of the crime. It took the clown long enough to get his facts straight. But whatever. This should finally be good enough, yes? It is a cipher testimony. No, it's not! <laughs> was Max really at the crime scene that night? He said he wasn't there. We have to believe in that. All right, Mr. Wright, commence your cross-examination. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell. I'm gonna scream. Okay. It was a bit far away. Don't you think that you were going a little overboard with how explicit you're being? That shadow belonged to Max is an awfully firm statement, don't you think? What are you getting at? I'm just saying that one of your fellow performer's life is on the line. Okay, so does that mean they're gonna die? I'm so, like... <laughs> the people who <laughs> are... I'm so confused. Do they go to jail or do they die? They're being so vague about it. Are you truly 100% absolutely certain that it was Max? I'm not the kind of person who would lie about something as serious as this. The silhouette I saw was Max. I'm convinced of that. It doesn't seem like he is jumping to any conclusions this time. Let's go over this again. What makes you sure it was you saw the Mac that night? Uh, let me save, actually. Boop, boop. Because I saw his uppity symbols. Trilo said the same thing! But if it was just his symbols, then even I could have been wearing them. What if someone had just taken Max's symbols and worn them? I thought of that myself. But just look at the shape of that face I saw. It must have been Max. But you said you only saw the silhouette. Yeah, right? I'm confused if it's death penalty or prison. They haven't explicitly said it. Hmm. You're sure of that? Such a silly boy. He threw his entire case headlong into a trap. Okay, his silk hat, the black cloak, they were all there. Sure. You're sure that's what you saw that night? Exactly what I said. I saw exactly what I saw. 
Oh, I got eyes like a hawk. I don't believe that. <laughs> um, don't birds have terrible night vision? But that's not all I saw. This one, this one, the silhouette. But you're sure it was him. That makes no sense. You were able to see that kind of detail from your window. Objection. There was a light near the scene of the crime. Anyone with decent eyesight should have been able to see that much. Out of curiosity, Mo, what is your eyesight like? I can see like a hawk out of my left eye, and an eagle out of my right eye. What? Our records say his eyesight is a perfect 2020. That must mean he could have seen the crime clearly. Hmm, the more we look into this matter, the more suspicious it becomes. Hey, you asked me what my eyesight was like, not what it actually was. What? His cloak was fluttering all in the wind, so I couldn't really see what he was carrying. So, you didn't actually see what the criminal was holding? That's correct. I've been curious to know what caused that loud noise. It must have been something incredibly hard. Too bad they haven't found the murder weapon to know for sure. They claim it was a blunt object. At least it says so in the autopsy report. With Trio's testimony, and now Moe's, it really seems like Max is the killer. Nick, you've got to find a contradiction in this. That's not going to be enough. What? I had to prove that Mo saw someone other than Max that night. That's the only thing that will help. I've got to do it. Okay. Okay, now we have to present something. Um... A picture of the crime scene. Okay. A hat. Documents related to salary negotiation. Uh... Orange juice bottle. Half of the very big circus. I'm gonna tell you. Yay, welcome back, Drippy! Monkey, no. Ring, no. I'm a deaf 1015. Blood object in the back of his head. Uh, the box, the salt. Hey, it's a bit far away, but the shadow could only have belonged to Max. No doubting it, especially since I saw his uppity symbols. That's the Discord logo? Yeah, I updated Discord. I don't know how I feel about all the updates and stuff. It'll take some getting used to. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it 100%. His silk hat, black cloak, they were all there. What about the roses? His face was silhouetted. There was no doubt that was him. How? How was that proof? His cloak was fluttering in the wind, so I couldn't remember what he was carrying. I'm gonna save. I don't know what to present. What about profiles? It looks fine. I just don't like the font. Twitter is crying about it. <laughs> oh, of course Twitter's crying. When is Twitter not crying about something, man? There's no doubting it. Especially since I saw his uppity symbols. Still cat. Black. Yo, Queen! How's it going? How you doing today, Queen? You were all there. Oh, I don't know. I don't know at all. I'm doing great, Frisk. Thank you so much for asking. How has your week been? Um. You pressed on everything already. They were all there. All of them? Ah, I don't know. I don't know at all. Um...
Shadow Cat only belonged to Max. No doubting, especially after these symbols. He's still Cat, Black Cat, they were all there. He's just silhouetted, but there was no doubt it was him. I don't know. What do you? Anyone get any? Have any thoughts? Let's present the hat on this. I don't know. Almost never. <laughs> Ah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Okay, what about poster? Oh? You say you saw all of Max's uppity symbols. I suppose so. The silk hat and the cloak, right? Mo, everyone knows that Maximilian Galactic has three uppity symbols. Three symbols? Yay! Everyone get ready! All together now! Silk hat! Cloak! White roses! What the? Who cares if he knew that they were three or not? He saw what he saw, and he saw the symbols. He just forgot to mention one. Isn't that right, Miss Mo? You like P.I.? Pi 3.14? What? Silence, fool! You are, you are to respond with the whole truth, no fractions! Yeah, no worries, queen! Order, order! Mo, you didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, there weren't any roses on the person I saw. <gasps> the crime scene was dark. It's obvious it was too dark to see that kind of detail. Uh -uh. But the witness said he was able to see the silhouette of the criminal's face. Not to mention that the roses are white. There's no way he could have missed them. And the roses must have fallen off when the defendant assaulted the crime victim. If that was the case, then the police would have found them near the crime scene. Mr. Wright, are these white roses truly material to the facts of this case? Clearly not. He's just toying with his cart. No. I got her on the ropes. Gonna save real quick. Gonna save, gonna save, gonna save. Quick. These uh, seemingly insignificant facts have never failed to lead me to the truth yet. Someone is toying with the court, but it's not me! Your Honor, do you recall Trilo's testimony? There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three symbols. How can you mistake someone with that crazy getup? How could you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Trilo sells them all! Trilo saw all three of Max's symbols. However, this witness claims there were no white roses on the person he saw. There is absolutely no doubt that this is a contradiction. Hmm, but now what am I supposed to think? One is supposed to disregard the pointless, but this... Judge, forget the roses. Think about his other testimony. The witness has stated without a doubt that he saw Maximilian Galactica. Nothing else matters. Let's wrap this case up now. Shout out to Mo for not lying. Yeah, he's a real one. He's awful, but he's a real one. Your Honor, he may be trivial, trivial, but it does cast doubt on the prosecution's case. Frankly, I have my doubts about this witness. It seems that unlike wine, the witness has not grown more mature with age or myself. I'm not mature. I've come to a conclusion. I'm 99% certain that this witness saw the defendant. However, my remaining 1% of doubt is quite reasonable, which means that for my peace of mind, I'm going to request a bit more testimony. What? If there are no contradictions in this next statement, I am prepared to issue a ruling. A ruling? Nick, this is your last chance. Oh boy. Hey, last one with the clown. There's no, there's no doubt in my mind. Uh, there were no right roses at night. However, all of the other symbols were there. I'm equally sure of that. Especially the silk hat. There was no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. He was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. Mr. Wright, you've got one last chance at this. Oh, God. 
Just one chance. Let me save the game. Um. I will not allow even the slightest hint of badgering against the witness. Oh my god. If you are going to prove me there's a contradiction of Mr. Curl's statement, you better have at least a shred of evidence to back up his accusations. Oh god. I've only got a single shot at this. I've got to be careful. I understand, Your Honor. One chance is all I need. Oh god. Okay. No pressure or anything. Um, no pressure. Let me save one more time. Okay. There's no doubt in my mind. There were no white roses that night. However, all of the other symbols were there. I'm equally sure of that. Especially the silk hat. There was no way I could forget seeing the, the decorations on it. He was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. And this is the hat we have. Okay. Can, am I allowed to press? Hold it. Mo, be honest. Ow! Oh. You promised, Mr. Phoenix, right? No more badgering. We just died. <laughs> Oh, we're screwed, man. <laughs> Mr. Billy Bob John's guilty. Well, bruh. <laughs> to be held pending trial at the higher court within a month of today's date. This is all. The court's adjourned. All right, bye, everyone. <laughs> bye bye All right, well, let's jump back into it, shall we? Okay! So we need to prove evidence. Okay, I'm just gonna... Especially this silk hat. Let's present the hat. Welcome back, Queen! Your Honor! That did- uh. No. Oh. Oh, wait, did I say Queen? I meant Genie. Welcome back, Genie! <laughs> um, that didn't work. He was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. But that can't be true, right? Because he dropped it? There we go, we got it. Oh, that was so close. This wouldn't happen to be the silk hat you saw that night, would it? Yep, that's it. That's the hat he was wearing that night. No question in your mind. Exactly how would one mistake a thing like that? I see. Is there some sort of problem, Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma, where exactly was the silk hat found? Must you always ask these questions? I was found at this crime scene. The, the crime scene? That means... The silk hat fell off of the crime scene. However, the witness clearly testified to the contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing that the entire time that he was on the scene. No! no that's not true! We got him, boys. We got this stupid clown. Order, order, order! Mr. Curls! Yes, Your Honor? What is the meaning of all this? You were old enough to know better than to behave like this in court. Hey, that's not right. That's so harsh. That's not right here. What's not right here is your eyesight and your memory, amongst other things. What? Why are you being so mean to me? What did I do? Let me guess. You just didn't like my jokes or something, right? You didn't have to go and insult my eyesight or my memory. They're both great. Seriously, why? Just because you're sitting above me doesn't mean, no matter how old I get, always look at me. Ah! <laughs> Sob. Christ. Enough of these childless outbursts, Mr. Curls. Who do you think you are? I saw him. I swear I saw him. It was Max. Even if he didn't have this roses, he was still wearing his dumb silk hat. I'm telling the truth. He's turned into a bratty little kid. Guys, the clown's not a real one anymore. He's pitiful, isn't it? He left the scene wearing that dumb silk hat. He was there. He left the scene. 
What's the matter, Nick? There's something I've been mulling over for a while now. Oh! What do you want? You just said that he left the scene. Exactly how did the murderer leave the scene because there were no footprints? Ronald McDonald's mental breakdown in court. I hate that you're right, Drippy. What? He, um, he went. What do you mean, how do you leave the scene? You can't ask me that. Oh, yes, we can. Mr. Phoenix Wright, he's badgering the witness, Your Honor. Objection. This witness testimony is so full of holes, Mr. Von Karmer. Uh, Miss Von Karmer's. Whose voice am I doing? This witness testimony is full of holes, Miss, Miss Von Karmer's protest is useless. Gur, you've got a point. Let's hear what the witness has to say on this matter. Is that alright with you, little guy? Don't talk to me like I'm a little baby. Besides, what kind of stupid question is how did he leave the crime scene? The answer is obvious. He just turned around and walked away. That's what I expected you say. You sure that's how it happened? You say what? Huh? For some reason, going between the picture of the clown and the judge is really... jarring. They both look like characters from different games. Like, the judge is super realistic and, like, has pointy edges in his face. But then the clown is just the opposite. Lawyers nowadays sure do love to harp on the smallest things. Oh, God. Let me save. Oh, no. I can't save. Oh, but it's okay. We know what it is. It's a picture of the crime scene. Whew. Take that. Look at this picture. The problem is the footprints in the snow. Footprints. In this photo, we can clearly see the footprints of the victim. However, where are the criminal's footprints? They are there. So, Mo, how exactly did a criminal escape the scene? Oh, me, uh. Your Honor! The witness has already proven that his testimony is completely unreliable. I move to strike all of his all this witness's testimony from the court record. I agree. This clown's testimony is as rickety as the clown car he came to court in. Wait a second! You guys can't just ignore everything I said. Fine, fine, I'll tell you the truth this time, dude. No. You wait a second! I think you've said more than enough for today. That didn't hurt! I'm getting tired of listening to you anyway. I'll give you the real deal this time. Wow, that didn't hurt, eh? I don't know why, but I get the feeling things are gonna get worse before they get better. Please, no more. Mr. Lawrence Curls! Yes! The testimony you've provided up until now has been false? It hasn't been false! I haven't lied, it's just... It's just what? It's just I was a bit confused on the bit about the criminal leaving the scene. Especially since Von Karma and her whip told me not to talk about what I really saw. Oh my god. Order, order! I will have order! Franzika Von Karma! How could you? Your Honor, if you had heard the truth from this witness, you would have exactly... You would have, you would have exactly the same opinion as I have. What opinion is that? It's not funny. Did he fly away? That's enough out of you. I'm going to listen to what he has to say. Now then, let's hear the truth about what you say. You saw, Mr. Curls. Ah, you're not going to believe this. But it's all true, I tell you. Why not? Why? You're trying not to waste our time with your idiotic drivel. He flew away. Ugh, the truth. Can we get rid of this clown, please? Oh god, this music. Now it's time for our next segment. Mo knows. Everything that I've said up to now, until it has been the truth. When I looked out the window, the ringmaster was down and Max was standing out above him. He wasn't wearing his white roses, but he was wearing the silk hat. That's what I saw. He... That is the truth now! Get ready for it! He flew! He jumped up and flew through the air! <laughs> he flew up right out and disappeared into the darkness. He's a vampire. That's why there were no footprints. Flying people don't leave the 
Leaf footprints. Oh my god. I told you it wasn't funny. Do, don't you, uh, do you believe me now? Well, that was, um, how do you put this into words? Maximilian Galactica is a world-class magician. But to leave the scene of the crime by flying, there's no way that actually happened. You, you're right. Why is she right? You believe the other witnesses? Why don't you believe me? Especially since it's the best part of the story. Hmm. To be honest, this is the first time I've heard of a flying criminal. What do you think about this witness's testimony, Mr. Wright? Sounds like something an acrobat is, but that's what I was thinking, Genie! We haven't seen the acrobat yet. And and his room? Check it out. His room is right beside where the murder happened. They're not showing us all the people. I think we know. I think we know, man. Um, his eyesight's were, his eyes were playing tricks. He's telling the truth. He was telling the truth. <coughs> what he just said was so strange. I don't think he would have made it up. Which means that he is telling the truth? That's what I think. I think wait. That means that Max actually is magic. Yikes, you're right. Now! Only a foolish looking fool could be fooled by such a foolish fool's foolish dream. Don't be ridiculous. Magic does not exist. I mean, if summoning spirits exists. I wouldn't not believe magic doesn't exist. I suppose I will let you all in on my thinking regarding this matter. The criminal disappeared into the sky. I'd love to believe that, but I just can't wrap my head around how that could actually happen. You imbecile. If you disregard a need for proof, Ms. Von Karma's case is sound. However, I've got the feeling that this case is in dire need of more investigation. Thus, I will conclude today's proceedings at this point. It's an undisputed fact that the criminal left no footprints at the scene. Tomorrow, I want us to find out the reasons behind this mystery of mysteries. Um, uh... Grr. I believe that's enough for today. Court is adjourned. Oh boy. At least we're done with the clown for now. Right? Yes. Clown's gone, everybody! Clown's gone. Hey, sweeties, what in the world's going on? Oh, what in the world's going on? That's what I want to know. They say the criminal flew off into the air and disappeared. Max, I can't believe I'm asking this, but you didn't fly that night, did you? I know you didn't mean to ask me such a fabulously stupid question. I can't fly anywhere, I please. It's not that easy. But it looks so effortless for you on the stage. It's not that simple. I'm not actually flying on stage. I use invisible wires and I have and have of them host me through the air. Wow, you just told me the secret to your magic. No, I broke the first rule, the cardinal rule, the only rule. I'm sorry, Max. We made you break a magician's creed to never reveal the secret to their tricks. Yeah, but that was pretty obvious, man. Nick, what do we do now? All we can do now is hope we find the flying criminal in court tomorrow. Great idea. Let's do our best and catch that sucker. Okay. To be continued. That's a good place. Oh my god. Yes, I'd like to save my progress. Twice, in fact. Because I don't trust it saves. <laughs> okay. Is it safe now? Yes, it's completely safe now, Glem. You, <laughs> thanks so much for sticking around, even though there was a clown. <laughs> we got rid of him. He's gone. The clown is no more. He better not show up next time. I swear to God. I, sw I swear to Edgeworth he if he shows up. Oh, we still got a few more minutes before stream ends. You guys want to chat? You guys want to? Guys want to? Want to talk about life? Poor God. I know. I feel so bad. Like. <laughs> Why do they have to include a stupid clown? It's not cool. And a puppet! I'm fine. Although... <laughs> like, he isn't even a good character either. Yeah, Drippy, 
I love you, but let's keep the Discord a clown-free place. <laughs> Please and thank you, Mr. VIP. <laughs> no, no clowns allowed, gotcha? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I just want this case over with. <laughs> I thought, I think, I think it is, um, the acrobat. I think it truly is the acrobat. I know we haven't met him yet, and we don't know his motives or anything, but it had to be, right? Okay, crazy theory. Yeah, there's an acrobat. The, the monkey named Money, who takes things, he hides him in... That room. So there's someone we don't know. I know. It's happened before, though. I forget which case it was, but they completely didn't show the murderer until halfway through. Oh, yeah. Gant. Demon Gant. <laughs> Monday should always be off. Oh, true, Trippy. True. Abs always. Always. Monday should always be a thing. There's no school. No work. Have Mondays off. But, yeah. It, it's, it's dumb when they don't show the, the, the murderer. Also, I think... Here's a random theory, okay? The acrobat also, also loved Gigi. So he teamed up with the monkey <laughs> to remove both of them. He, he took care of, what's his face? He disguised as the guy with the cape so that he would get arrested. And the monkey took the ring so that, <laughs> so that the puppet couldn't propose. Leaving the acrobat the only one who can ask to marry her. I mean, unless the acrobat... We don't even know who the acrobat is. That could be false, but... There's my theory. There's my theory. <laughs> but we already knew Demon Gant. He was there for most of the chapter. That's true. That's true. Although he wasn't... He didn't come until, like, chapter 2, right? Like, we, we still had no idea what was going on until he showed up and was, and was like, on the court. Honestly, sounds plausible. I think so. I think that's plausible. I also think possibly Gigi has something to do with it. Because A, she was so unfazed that her dad was dead. And B, the dad killed her lion once. I don't... If she is that delusional, because that's her life, she's only been in the circus, it wouldn't shock me if she was capable of murder, you know? Like, she's not grounded. She has no idea what the real world's like. That's what I think. They plan it together. They plan it together so they, they could elope and run off together. Or take over the circus. Because I guess, I guess she would. Because it's in her name. Maybe her dad didn't approve of the acrobat? That's true. I could see that. I also like how like we know nothing about him. No one said anything. Or her. Because if, it, if it's an acrobat... Odds are it could be a girl, because it's the tightrope walker, right? So we we don't we don't know who it is yet. We got revenge of the dad because they were in love with her. Obviously, it, love has to be something. There were two people who wanted to propose to Gigi. Love has to be in the equation, you know. Also, the box of the salt doesn't make any sense either. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. She's a mastermind, and she one of her suitors. I like that one. I like that one more. Yeah, she's playing all innocent, but really she's the one toying with everyone's emotions, trying to get everyone to be in love with her so she can control them and get them to kill the dad so she can take over the circus. That's an even more plausible theory. I like that one, Genie. I like that one a lot. I don't think... I don't think it was Ben. Crazy as he is... I know he w has the figure to pose as, what's his face, uh, Max? But I don't think it was the puppet. I don't think it was Ben. I think he's clear. I know he has a motive to get, his, to get him out of the way to marry Gigi, but I think that's too, ob that's too obvious. I think. I don't think it was the clown. At all. I don't, I don't think so at all. Unless just everyone, <laughs> everyone was the murderer this time. Everyone had a small part in it. They all hated Max, so they're the one who took him out. <laughs> I don't know. 
all they all planned. I can absolutely see that though. Like they all hate that Max is the star of the show and he gets the most money. So they all they all plan together to make to you know kill him off and have Gigi be the one in charge so that she could pay everyone more or something. I I feel like there's a lot of scheming going on behind the background. It was the barrel. How dare you, Genie? How Finn would never do such a thing. Finn, no, <laughs> Finn is out of this. Don't you dare throw Finn under the bus. <laughs> if anything, it was the elephant. Because the elephant is jealous of Finn, but we we wouldn't we're not we're not gonna go there. We're not gonna go there. <laughs> Finn would never. <laughs> I, love, I love how the characters we love the most are the ones that we either make up an entire personality for or just are completely side characters like Penny. <laughs> Gordy wanted to be in the circus, but the ringleader said no one wanted. Wait, said no, so wanted revenge. So you think Gordy killed him? No, or Polly, or Polly. I wonder what happened to Polly, because that guy got arrested or killed, right? So that means that means Polly <laughs> has no owner, right? Except Edgy Boy. Oh, definitely except Edgy Boy, who we don't know where he is. Not dead. He's not dead. He's not, I refuse to believe that. He's not dead. Um, although if he was, could you imagine Maya channeling his spirit? Nope. Not even going there. Not even going there. Nope. Edgeworth is not dead. He's, he's still alive. I just don't like the way Phoenix talks about it. He's like, he rarely ever raises his voice or be stern with Maya, you know? But he was like, Drop the subject. Stop talking about it. Where's Geekster? I don't know. I think he, he was active in the Discord for a little bit. Edgy is just on extended vacation. Yeah! Yeah. I need an edit of my with Edgy's face. No! <laughs> no, no, no. I need, I need Geekster to <laughs> make an edit of the, <laughs> of the... What's his name? The judge's family. They're all just... <laughs> They all have the bearded face on just a child and a wife. <laughs> the bearded gentleman, the bearded baby, and the bearded wife. And the bearded grandchildren. Just an entire family photo of the bearded face on it. <laughs> I want that so... This is all so cursed. <laughs> I was thinking of, <laughs> I don't I don't think I have time or the effort to do it but you know those TikToks where like they enter an anime or a video game and it's doing that song but uh am I pretty uh do you think I'm pretty do you make me think like cheat I feel like cheating like no not really cuz oh I feel like I found myself a cheerleader and it shows like three people but then it shows like the one they're attracted to I had this idea to do it with Phoenix Wright Attorney. <laughs> I jump into like the Ace Attorney world and it just shows like uh, Mia or uh, Frenzika or like all these attractive girls and all of a sudden it shows the judge. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I thought maybe Edgeworth because like, yeah, that's obvious. But like, I feel like the judge would be even funnier, you know? No one would expect it. They'd all be waiting for Edgeworth, but no. Nah. No, nah, I'd be the judge. <laughs> If I had the motivation and time to do it, I would definitely do it. Oh, I th Drippy, I swear to God, that video made me hurt. I felt physical pain in my stomach. Don't you dare. <laughs> Who is sussy? Uh, uh. <laughs> that was nasty. That was so nasty. If you're cruising, you're going to get timed out so soon. <laughs> No, it's just this guy who does a really bad slideshow and like really badly sings lyrics to the song. <laughs> yes, Clem! 
Let Geekster know. <laughs> he has homework. <laughs> Poor guy. He probably has too much homework as it is. <laughs> Geek 3, we need... Oh my god, a third command in Geekster. Photoshop? <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Poor Geekster. We love him. <laughs> we make him do so much work for us. <laughs> I hope he knows we appreciate him and the stuff he does. <laughs> Where would our channel be without him, man? We wouldn't have any of his art. None of it at all. None of it at all. Oh, when I first made this channel, the art I made was so rough. It was, it was just like a Switch icon. <laughs> there go the loud screams again. Oh my god, Clem, please be safe. I remember the old church banner. Do you, Drippy? Do you remember it? If Geek is a minor, is that technically child labor? No, because I pay him. I pay him, Genie. <laughs> Drippy tried to frame me for this earlier, too. I have commissioned artwork from Geekster. I don't make him do things for me for free. <laughs> don't, God damn it. I'm not like these I'm not like these people, okay? <laughs> Who try to like deal with underage people. That's not child labor, is it? If I if if he's an artist and he's making commissions and and I buy one from him, that's not that's not child labor, is it? Is it? I hope not. Otherwise, I'm editing this part out of the video. <laughs> that's that's not. It's not like I'm forcing him to do it. <laughs> like <laughs> now, I feel guilty, guys. <laughs> don't take me to court. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna go riot with the people screaming in your backyard, Glenn. <laughs> I don't care what we're writing about. In the world, apparently, can legally start working for... Oh, that's true! Yeah, 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 yeah. Here in Canada, like, you can start working at Tim Hortons or something at 14. I'm on it. Oh, no! <laughs> Geekster! <laughs> I love the 14th floor. I, I realized that as soon as I said it. But <laughs> I, I stuck with it. Like, outside your house, apartment. Let's go with that. <laughs> Geekster, I'm on it. Boop, 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 boop. I'm on it. Have you guys ever seen that show? Uh, Fillmore, I think it was called. It was an old Disney TV show. Fire out of the work. Oh, nice, Teresa. Thank goodness. <laughs> Oh, where do you work, Teresa? Did you just get a new job? It's so nice when you finally escape from the clutches of work. It's such a nice feeling. You draw my homework needs instead. Oh my god, yes, please. <laughs> How do you know? Oh my god, Clem, you're right. Yeah, he has drama homework. Poor guy. Poor dude. Oh, there's a comma. <laughs> Queen Teresa. Welcome back, Queen. I love human ladies comes up to me with their laptops. Me with their own books to the left of her. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, I think that's going to be it for stream today. We'll be back on Saturday to pick up the case and finally see this uh, acrobat. Everybody place your bets on the fact that they're the murderer. It has to be. It's the only person we haven't we haven't seen yet. It has to be. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you all have a terrific week. I will hopefully see you guys all next weekend. Peace out, everybody. Bye bye.